going to make a bow using a four inch salmon color ribbon, two and a half inch ribbon with dragonflies, and a one and a half inch denim ribbon. The first thing we're going to do is uh, this is a bodabra. This you can buy at Walmart. The bodabra is just a plastic piece. My husband made this board. He just drilled some holes into the base and drilled it, uh, secured it to the board, and I put some markings so I could measure my ribbon width and then here's a little tool that you can when you get your ribbon on here you can press it down and scrunch it down a little bit this piece is a ribbon holder that comes out of the pro bow bow maker now we sell those two and sometimes we use one or the other and sometimes we'll use a combination of both but it holds your ribbon so i'm going to start with my widest ribbon uh on this first bow and you Put your ribbon on where it's rolling off to the right. Put my second ribbon. And then the ribbon that will be on top is the most narrow, so it'll go on the last spool. So I'm going to go ahead and get all three ribbons, and you don't have for my tails, and you don't have to use all three ribbons for your tails, but I'm going to. And this is not going to be a real fancy ribbon. It's going to be pretty simple. So I'm going to make about a about a 14 inch tail. So I'll cut that. Just grasp it in the center have all three layers face right side ribbon face up and I'm going to just slide that right into my bow dabra and just crunch it down bring those tails forward and just get them out of the way okay now I'm ready to start with my ribbon I've got my right side up and I'm going to start I'm going to have about a three inch tail on this side. I'm going to twist my ribbon to make my first loop. I'm going to make it about at the a little beyond the 12 inch mark. You can make this as wide or as narrow as you want. ribbon snug. Pinch that down. Now I have to get the right side of my ribbon up again. Working with the four inch ribbon is a little harder. So I'm going to hold that in place and I have to twist this side to get my right side up again. And then I'm going to come over here and make the same size loop on this left side. To the center. Got my right side up still. Make sure my loops are about the same size. This one looks a little larger over here. Okay. Now, this next time I have to twist and bring my right side up again. I'm going to make this loop smaller. Twist, bring the right side up, and this time I'm going to make just a little small loop. That's going to be my center loop for my bow. My ribbon smooth. Okay, I'm going to take the little tool and just scrunch that down to make it as compact as I can. You're building your bow from the bottom up. Now I'm ready to end off my bow, end off my ribbon. So I'm going to leave about a two inch tail for right now. I'm going to cut that ribbon, get it away from my spool. That's going to be my center loop, so that's why I only did one small loop there. Now I'm ready to take the ribbon off my board, and I'm going to use a 
zip tie to secure it. These ribbons are just stacked right on top of each other, so very carefully, I'm gonna lift that up off the board, keeping them stacked, one right on top of the, one right on top of each other. I'm gonna take that zip tie and lay it down right beside that loop, and I'm gonna bring that around to the bottom, keep everything stacked, and I'm gonna pull that zip tie, but I'm not gonna pull it completely tight. Just get it started. And then before I close that zip tie, I'm gonna slide a chenille stem under it. So I'll have something to secure my bow to my wreath. And now I'm ready to tighten that zip tie. Everything is still stacked. Pull that tight as I can. Keep that to the back. All right, and then I'm gonna cut off that zip tie with wire cutters, the end of it. And now you've got tails coming to the front that are right side up, and then here's our loops. Fluff that out a little bit. Now, this little short end will be ended in the front. I'm gonna cut that off shorter. Just make sure I don't cut it so close that my center loop pulls out of my zip tie. And then I'm gonna take that center loop and just kind of push it over so it will cover up that raw edge right there. Now, the short end on the back where we started, I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to cut that off shorter, just not so short that it might pull out. Okay. So now we have our wreath bow. I'm going to finish off my tails by cutting it. Doing a chevron cut, I'm just going to fold it lengthwise and cut on the folded edge away from me. And finish off those ends. Do that on both sides. Now your bow is finished and you have your chenille stem on the back to attach it to your wreath.